Pharmacy Pearls, drug therapy that works. In this episode of Pharmacy Pearls, I'm going to show you how to reduce the risk of gout flares when starting treatment with allopurinol. Gout is a kind of arthritis caused by uric acid crystals forming in one or more joints. Uric acid is a waste product that forms when your body breaks down a substance called purines. In people who have gout, uric acid builds up and then forms sharp crystals inside the joints. Gout affects men more often than women, although the gender gap narrows with age. The annual incidence is one case for every 1,000 men ages 40 to 44, and 1.8 cases for every 1,000 men ages 55 to 64. High blood uric acid levels are the single most important risk factor. Approximately 60% of patients have a second attack within the first year, and 78% have a second attack within two years. By comparison, only 7% of patients do not have a recurrence within a 10-year period. While a wait-and-see, non-drug approach is sometimes justified after the first gout attack, most experts recommend starting preventive treatment after two or three have occurred. A medication called allopurinol is the most widely prescribed agent for the long-term prevention of recurrent gout attacks. It works to lower blood uric acid levels by blocking its production in the body. Recently, a second option, febuxostat, entered the market. With that being said, there is one big problem. Uric acid lowering therapies actually trigger acute flares at the beginning of treatment in as many as 75% of patients. This is because when blood uric acid levels drop, uric acid crystals temporarily form in cartilage and soft tissues. When a medication used to prevent gout actually worsens it, albeit temporarily, it significantly lowers the likelihood that patients will adhere to treatment. In order to deal with this problem, doctors often recommend using a medication called colchicine to prevent gout flares when starting allopurinol. A 2004 randomized controlled trial published in the Journal of Rheumatology sought to determine the effectiveness of this approach by compar comparing colchicine with placebo over six months in 43 patients who are starting treatment with allopurinol. In the placebo group, 77% of patients experienced a gout flare, compared to only 33% of patients in the colchicine group. Thus, over six months, for every two to three people treated with colchicine, a gout flare was prevented. Additionally, colchicine decreased the average number and severity of flares. The effect also persisted over the entire six-month period. The dose of colchicine used in the study was 0.6 mg twice daily. However, if diarrhea occurred, patients were encouraged to lower their dose to once daily. While nausea, abdominal discomfort, and diarrhea are common with colchicine, occurring in as many as 50-80% to 80 of patients, all study participants were able to tolerate it. This study does leave some unanswered questions. For instance, while once daily colchicine dosing was better tolerated by patients, we do not know whether or not it is equally effective. This could be further explored. Additionally, a high proportion of study participants had advanced gout, raising the question of how applicable the results are to less severe cases. Finally, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen, are also recommended for the prevention of flares, but evidence to support their use is lacking. It would be nice to know how they compare with colchicine. Okay, now you know how to reduce the risk of gout flares when starting treatment with allopurinol. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.